You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Looked him straight in the eye and I said, No, not the boar worm. <gasps> oh, hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. Um, how are we today? How are we? Yeah. Uh, collectively? I'm okay. Oh. How are you doing? Boar worm. Anyway, what have you got for us today? Well, I have news about a revolutionary back-related pain relief method. And we've got a game for you to play along with in our game of the week. Mm. And we also have a new feature that involves me getting rid of Mike for a while, and I've been promised a surprise. I'm not sure whether that's... <laughs> I haven't read that before. Uh, <laughs> but on screen now, you can see our contact details. It's at the Cook TV on your social media. And if you want to catch up on previous episodes, you can always have a binge on us by YouTube. Look for Chewing the Cud. A binge on us. You go on, you treat yourself to a you binge. I'll go, try have a binge. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. And you can see the names of people who have reached out to us on social media going along the bottom of the screen. But now it's time for Lee and the Showbiz News. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Would you like some showbiz? I suppose so. Can you see how tiny things are nowadays? Look. Oh, your, phone, your, your yeah. tablet, not your phone. Okay. Died. I've lost a lot of weight. I thought that's what you were going to refer to. Oh, no. It was. Um, so, Paul... <laughs> Paul O'Grady. He's died. He's still dead. Still dead? Okay. Still dead. How's Lily Savage doing? Still with She's us? dead as well. Oh, okay. That's yeah. coincidence. Um, I think she died with him, along with oh, him. Oh, oh. Yeah. Suicide uh, murder pact. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, so, his widower has uh -huh. put their £3.5 million pound house up for sale. Ooh. Um, so he died in March 2023. Uh-huh. Uh, his husband is Andre, who began dating in 2005. That's a picture of them there together. Very handsome couple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, and five dogs they had. Um, that picture they didn't. So, the, so after Paul died, Andre inherited the house, which mm -hmm. you would expect him to do because they, yeah. they were married. And they dubbed it Knoll House. Um which Paul had lived in since 1999, which looks nice. Um, I'm not a fan of the blue wash that they've done on it. I know you the, are. I, I don't mind that. I think that's quite pretty. Mm -hmm. What colour would you paint it? I would like? have left the brickwork brickwork coloured. Okay, all right. Um, so 18 months down the line, mm -hmm. he's looking to have the it's a listed Edwardian property put on for sale. Okay. And because they live in quite... Um, they lived in quite a... Affluent area? Yeah, the, the people are kind of going, oh, oh so you, don't, you can't sell it to any old, any old hoo-ha. Um, so, yeah. Um, so the, there was a, apparently there was a legal battle with the neighbours who claimed mm -hmm. that um, he, was, he wanted to turn it into, a, into an Airbnb. Okay. Um, and they were like, no, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. And Paul, and like, Paul would have approved. No, 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 no. Um, it's, so the, 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 it's surrounded by 50 acres, mm -hmm. boasts four reception rooms. It was once owned by Vic Reeves. That's random, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, and it features a variety of quirky touches, including a caravan in the garden, a witch's house, and bookcase wallpaper. Oh. And, um, and, and Paul O'Grady in the bath. Not now. That was when he was alive. Okay. So that's not a feature. Um, They've got an indoor rockery. Indoor rockery. I think that's one of those um, those chi those sort of um, chi chi gardens. You know, like the yeah yeah um, um, inside rockery. It's, so <laughs> it's rocks. It's inside. It's inside rockery. <laughs> it's no. It's one of those. What do they call them? I don't know. Zen garden. Oh, it's not very zen. It's, it's like the cat in the zen garden. <laughs> That's where I got the idea from. That cat's going to die. No, it's not. Um, so, he, Paul, loved this house. Um, he, when he bought it, he said, I couldn't quite get into thinking that the house was mine. <laughs> On the first night in the house, I couldn't sleep. I was so excited. Um, it's kind of like brought all that kind of conversation about how long do you leave it? after somebody has died before you sell the house that you lived in together or depends the stuff on that how long had. you have to wait for the inheritance tax to not have to be paid on it oh, <laughs> oh. Um, um i mean i mean it's, it's a, a huge it's a house, house for one person well, it's a lot of house for two people yeah but it was a celebrity yeah but i mean it's that mm, if, if you don't want to live there you don't have to live there don't have to live there nobody can tell him no yeah, no what right. to do. I, if, oh, you're going to turn it into an Airbnb. I just, right, thanks for the idea, love. I'm going to do that and turned it into an Airbnb mm. just to f*** them over. Just for homosexuals. 
Just for orgies. Yes. Loud circuit party gays. That's what I let out. Those to. ones that wear PVC rubber from head to toe. No, circuit party. They're the ones with the, the abs and the, the tight little trousers. I'm unaware of that. Jennifer Coolidge. Go on. I'm not going to... I am not. I might not do it. I might do it. I would just, you I'm, are going to do it. It just depends. You can't even... You wouldn't prep for the show without doing the voice. No, but... You look like the 4th of July. Every single Has anybody time. ever said that to you? Yes, you. Every time you mention Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, my God. Anyway, apparently... I mean, she's a gay icon anyway. Uh-huh. But apparently, she has inadvertently starred in a gay porno. Okay. Um, so, yeah. she. So, there she is in a variety of roles. She's in Legally Blonde, mm-hmm. Best in Show. So, she's, she's having a bit of a, a career renaissance at the moment with things like The White Lotus mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. However, she has um, starred in a gay film called Eli Enjoys Tyler. Okay. Um, Clearly porn. Um, that's Eli and Tyler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's from the erotic film studio, Corbin Fisher. Do you, are you aware of that, Mike? I am aware of that. Is that bookmarked on your... Um... Not bookmarked, because I don't pay for porn. Oh, OK. Um, so it's... it's So, basically, before they get down to it, mm-hmm. there's a, a like a bit of an epilogue at the beginning. Oh, yeah, like, like delivering the pizza. Or... Yeah. yeah, so they're kind of like sat there, talk, sat, sat on, a, on the couch, scrolling through the phones, um, and Eli turns to Tanner and asks, have you seen this clip? Watch it. This is funny. Um, and what we don't... Uh, we don't actually see the clip, but we hear a voice. It's from... And we reviewed this a couple of years ago, and it was... It's awful. It's an, it's Netflix's gay holiday rom-com single all the way. I love that show. Oh, oh you man. don't! It's so bad, it's so good. It's dreadful! It's so bad, it's so good. It's not. It's, it's, that, it's just it awful. It goes so awful, awful, awful. It's like... This is iconically bad. It's awful. There's a dance scene with yes. children. It's to Britney Spears. It's not, not, no gay person behaves like that. <laughs> no, no, which is why it's brilliant. Oh, anyway, they, <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> they play the bit where she goes, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the impression because I want to. Really? Uh. Gays just know how to do stuff, you know? I mean, they're survivors. And for some reason, they're always obsessed with me. I don't know why, but I like it. <coughs> Ooh. She didn't need the cup it's as well, quite then. possibly one of the um, smoothest mo- moments in gay porn. Because then they just bang each other afterwards straight away. Um, yeah. It's the, the whole idea. We're legitimate actors because we're, we're acting. It's not just f***ing <laughs> for cash. F***ing for cash. Which I'm fine with. I like that on the BBC, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just one of my favourite afternoon attic. shows, yeah. yeah. Cash in the attic. <laughs> cash Barking in the attic. Hunt. For cash. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Weakest link. Yeah. And apparently... Weakest kink afterwards, that. <laughs> Weakest kink. Yeah. Um, apparently, she's very flattered by it because she has been tagged in it. Um, and she's like, yeah. She's going, that's great. Getting some money for that. I don't know whether she would do. Yeah, fair use. Just because it's a voice. Rather than but yeah, it's like so. We did have the clip. You sent me the clip, but we can't use it because no penis is in the clip that I sent you. No, but it's all copyrighted material all oh, the way through. So oh, okay, you've got to be careful. So. Well, you can watch it at your own leisure. I did do. You watched the porn you? afterwards. Well. Did you? Was yeah. it nice? Was it romantic? It was. It was very lovely. There was oh, lots of cuddling and, and touching. That's not. Like, that's the feathers kind of and soft like. focus. And as soon as they started to kiss, the pan it panned away. Oh, and, and like dogs and, then, just, and stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to something that is kind of related, but not particularly re- Okay. We'll see. So Jennifer Aniston, uh-huh. um, she's been in gay porn now, she hasn't. <laughs> um, she's addressed numerous stories about her having um, surgery. Okay. Um, so um, that's her back in the day. Uh-huh. And that's her now. See, if she has had work done, it's she, yeah. been very well done. Yeah. She's obviously paid for it because she's got the money. So she was on some chat show and she was doing a, a true or false game. Uh-huh. And one of them story was that, was that she'd had a salmon sperm facial. Okay. Okay. Um, so the, <laughs> the host inquired, said whether she'd had this salmon sperm facial. The star replied, I did. But let me explain to you. It's not like, how would you get the sperm out of the salmon? It's kind of all a little bit unclear. She explained, I just took the woman's, <laughs> just took the woman's word for it. And, um, and I was like, sure. 
Yeah. Um, she said, I don't know what it's supposed to was supposed to be doing, like little micro needling that they do. Apparently, this is a big trend in, in the States of um, salmon sperm. I don't know how they get the sperm, because we've got a picture of an actual salmon. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not an attractive animal, is it? You're wanking it off. You're not sleeping with it, are you? Do they wank it? Oh, I don't know how they do it. We've oh. got some. You I didn't some. wank off a... I didn't wank off a salmon. If you get someone else to do that for you, that would cool. <laughs> Got Jennifer Coolidge to do it. Sent it in the post. I've got some. Do you want to try it? Yeah, yeah, why not? Right, b- behind you, in your little cubby hole. Oh, okay. We've got... Um, so what do you do? Do you, do you put so the- normally, if you're going to have it done properly, it would be injected into your face, but you can just eat it. You can just swallow it. Oh, it pops when you suck it. These are salmon eggs. Sperm is a fluid. These are eggies. All right, expert. Um, <laughs> this is not sperm. I know sperm when I taste it, and this is not it, sir. It's well, it's it's like go on, all in one. Yum, 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 yum. That's all I do. This is why I'm popular. Mmm. Do you feel younger? Don't look it, but no. No. Oh, I'll have to wait and see later. Right, that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Thanks, Fat Lee. Always nice that someone gets to feed me sperm. Um, yeah. You're welcome for that. Jizz in your mouth from a fish. Mm. Um, stick around, because next it's Mike and the Buzz. watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. And now we go into the deeper parts of the internet, the internals, as it's Mike and the Buzz. Get a bad taste in your mouth, love? It's a salmon sperm residue. Oh, okay. Definitely eggs. Um, so, moving on from your, your, your spermy things and, and the, the life giving us, I'm going to go to someone like taking the mick out of the dead um oh. what's the worst thing you've ever done in a cemetery um so many things they've done in a cemetery i killed someone really no no okay no. Um, um i don't think i've done anything particularly heinous heinous in a, in a cemetery okay uh, well, this is a story about a gentleman who has done something particularly heinous oh. to the point he's been arrested charged and sentenced <gasps> mm. um, he was pretending to be a ghost and jumping out at people going boo <laughs> now I'm on board with that <laughs> it's a crime is it? yeah um, so he was sentenced uh, with rowdy behaviour okay did he have his right. penis out? Um, huh? did he have his penis out? <laughs> no he had the arms in the air going woo <laughs> at people as they were grieving <laughs> was it directly after a funeral? Well, no. That's inappropriate. <laughs> That's inappropriate. It's what he would have wanted. If it's like an... Or- <laughs> if it's dressed as that person who's just been buried, that's not appropriate. Okay. If it's like an ordinary day mm-hmm. with no services and stuff, you know. So he's been charged with harassment. Okay. Okay. And breach of the peace because he was upsetting people. What was he Quite dressed as? Was he dressed just himself? Oh right, he wasn't in a but, costume. No, but he was like hiding and jumped out. Going, Woo! But I like that. Okay, well, great for you. He was fined for it. How much? Community, like, 60 just pounds. out of interest. How long has he been sent to prison for? Uh, well, he had a suspended sentence because the prisons are overcrowded. Oh, um, so he was sent to community service instead. But yeah, he was drunk. Oh, okay. And also caused criminal damage. Oh, by what? Huh? How? By breaking shit. Breaking like, breaking headstones? Yes. Oh, well, that's not good. No. I mean, just put a sheet on. <laughs> Holes for your face. Hole for your penis. Why a hole for Fun your for penis? everybody. Why are you hole for your penis? Because... Because ghosts. <laughs> ghosts have penises. Ghosts like to put the willies up, yeah? They do, yeah. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> you talk about getting your willy out. A GP has warned, right, about masturbation levels within people. Okay. okay. Masturbation is good for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah? We all enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah? I mean, it releases endorphins, it de-stresses you, it helps you. It clears your pipes. Clears your pipes out, because mm. you're a brewery. Yeah. <laughs> um, overall, very good for you to crack one out now and again. 
<laughs> okay. Why was that funny? Crack one out. Crack one out. One off the wrist. Shake hands with your trouser snake. Ooh. Mix some of God's baby batter. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. No, oh, no, no. 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 Um, but GPs warned about over masturbation and the perils and pitfalls thereof. I wonder if that was pretty much common sense. What do you think some of the, the downsides of over masturbation are? Well, it, like like raw bits. Raw bits. Raw bits on, on your parts. That. <laughs> well, like um, that then. Raw bits on your parts. <laughs> on your parts. A yeah. large penis there. <laughs> Right, raw bits. <laughs> just, just general wear and tear, one would imagine. General wear and tear. Okay, so it can have um, psychological impacts because it can desensitise you to things and you start looking for more and more things to... It's like cocaine. You can't get a better hit than your first hit. <laughs> Look at this. You're really off point. So, <laughs> we're, we're equating um, cocaine addiction with wanking. Well, you can get addicted to masturbation. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but he's also said, trying to put it up my nose though. <laughs> Have you not? <laughs> so while I had to wear a snorkel mask. Anyway. <laughs> but he's also said it can desensitize your areas as well. Desensitize your, desensitize your genitalia. Your genitalia, yeah. Okay. So yeah, now I have to, to enjoy myself, I have to slam in a car door. Yeah, oh, okay. Electrodes <laughs> on it. <laughs> yeah. Jump leads, that kind of stuff. Jump. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Big balls clip. Yeah, no, can't feel anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, like, what's your kink? Well, I like to slam it in the car door and I electrocute it. Just to feel a twitch. <laughs> is there is there is there, a, is there a, a spate of people over masturbating? Yes. Is there? Yeah, um, it causes depression. Because you, you get addicted to the high and the endorphins and things of... Of, of, of orgasming. Ta-da! Yeah. Um, and so when... You, when ta-da, that's what... <laughs> What happens? Do you not get a fanfare when you come? <laughs> a little, little, one of those portable dust things comes in and just goes, <laughs> moves it up. Like, slowly moves off. <laughs> I've got an image of the Hoover. Yeah. From, um, the little little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Tubby boy boy. <laughs> yeah. Tubby custard. <laughs> it's a long time since there's any custard come out of him. It's more like, you know, in those old horror films when they open a coffin and it goes, <laughs> dust comes flying out. Anyway. You've been very bad today. Basically saying that you should take a break from masturbating. Right? Don't do it every day. Yeah. Well, you, you, well, you can if you want to. Well, no, because... Not, like, like, not like, you know, like no. an apple a day. <laughs> Up your ass keeps... <laughs> <laughs> keeps the prolapse in check. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do it once a day if you want to. But it, it's not recommended but not because you three four times a day. No, no, once a day is probably a bit too much. Is what you're yeah, saying. All right then. Wank police. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a new job title. <laughs> and if you want to start your career as a wank policeman or woman, please share that with us. We're at the Cut TV on social media, and that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, you had a story about sperm on faces. This is a story about a man who found sperm to cure back pain you're intrigued now aren't you it's like oh i've needed it for more mike if i know was, uh, was he like i have an injection for you uh so, with his willy no oh, okay right <laughs> no <laughs> no it's worse um what he'd worked out is he thought you know um stem cells are really good at fixing things and stem cells are in sperm so he was getting his ejaculate into a syringe and in injecting his arm with his, his seminal fluids. Okay. Um, because he said that will help cure his back pain. He was doing it for months to the point his, his arm swell, swell, swelled up. His arm swelled up, right? Um, and he had to go to the doctors and go, I don't feel very well. And they went, no, it's because you've got all this ranted sperm in your arm. Was it not like a nine-month-old baby inside his arm? That's not how pregnancy works. <laughs> Never know. No, no, you do know. It's not how pregnancy works. Arm baby. Uh, am I pregnant? Are you injecting sperm in your arm? Well, not arm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but he was saying that because of the stem cells, that's going to help him sort out his back pain. All right, so 33, not a young lad. Where had he got this information from? The internet. Because 
sperm does have stem cells in it. Okay. Right, so he made so them. you need to be a scientist to, to <laughs> extract them. Oh, apparently not. Apparently he's just wanking to a syringe and off he goes. And off you pop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but was causing all, all manner of health issues having this, you know... Gangrene, was it? Not gangrene, but, like, sepsis and stuff. Ooh. Not, not pleasant. Because he had, like, months-old sperm rattling around mm. his arm. Grace of God, go you. Um, <laughs> what? Months old sperm rattling around in you. Um, no, they don't. No. It's like, if you know those trees that these tap for um, maple syrup, like with you, just sperm comes out. Mm. Quite finished insulting me now. I have indeed, yes. <laughs> no, you've not. <laughs> where, where was he from, this, this gentleman? Um, he was from somewhere. Uh, it's from the UK. Oh, okay. So, you, you were expecting America, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, this is not a Florida man. No, well, is he okay now? Well, his arm is deflated. His back pain is still present. Oh. And he has said he's going to stop injecting sperm into his arm. Well, that's good, isn't it? He's not said he's not going to inject it anywhere else, but... I can but hope. <laughs> exactly. Um, but that's all from the buzz this week. Wow. Well, if you're thinking of injecting sperm, call us. Yeah. Stick around, because coming up, we have a game with... <laughs> Stick around, because coming up, we have a game to play in our game of the week. Welcome back, and you're watching Chewing the Cud. We're going to play a little game, and this is one for the man who once did things to people. Mm. Yeah, and they paid to. Yes. Game of the week. So we're going to be playing a brand new game. It is Bin Bang or Betroth. BBB. Um, and, and what does that involve, Mike? So I'm going to give you a list of three people, dead or alive, and maybe may celebrities. Um, and you have to tell me whether you would um, bed them. No, bang them. So bang them. So... So you have to tell me whether you would bang them, as in have intercourse with them, um, whether you would bin them, as in get rid of them, mm -hmm. or whether you would marry them or betroth them. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. So are you ready for your first selection? I am indeed, Mike. Okay. You have Britney Spears, yeah. without the impression, Marilyn Monroe, right, or Justin Bieber. <laughs> so I've got to bin one, uh -huh. bang another. Yeah. And betrothed. Another one, yeah. And it was Britney Spears, Justin Bieber. And Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Does it matter if they're dead? No. Like if they would, they would be, if they were here now? Yes, yeah, if, if they were alive now. Okay, right. Well, straight off, I would bin Justin Bieber because... Issues. Um, I um, would... Oh, see, I'm a homosexual. Um, I would... I would... <laughs> Bang, Britney Spears. Um, okay, because she's issues. Um, and so um, adding to the trauma. <laughs> Has Britney not suffered enough? And I would, um, I would betroth uh, Maz. Maz. Yeah, because I like a bit of a Hollywood glamour. Okay, you see, I would probably bang Justin Bieber. Would you? Yeah, because. You can always put something over his mouth so he can't speak. Well, it's not. I'm not putting them over his mouth. Oh, okay. Anyway, your next selection. Um, they're all gentlemen. Okay. Okay. You have E.T. Oh. Mr. T. Oh. And uh, Al Capone. Um, I'm not having a lot of difficulty with these, so um, um, I would bin Al Capone. Okay. Because you know. Um, not money though. Not now though. He's dead. Well, if he was alive. Mmm, would he though? Yeah. Um, might put a, might chop my head off and put it in somebody's pillow. You're not a horse. Um, uh, so, Al Capone binned. Okay. Um, Mr. Uh, T and E.T. You've got choices now. Oh, you're yeah. Banging, you're banging either Mr. T or E.T. I'm gonna... I'm gonna bang Mr. T. Okay. I just, just one, just once. You're going to bottom, are you? Just to feel the chains banging on the back of my neck. Um, 
You are bottoming. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to marry E.T. Because he's cute. And then we can get in his spaceship. And he can diddle me with his big red finger. Just after Mr. T's had Jim, he'd be going, ouch. Uh, <laughs> ouch. Is Mr. T still with us? Not really. I had an insight into his career because I don't do the showbiz. <laughs> um, okay. Your next three. The Easter Bunny. Mm-hmm. Grace Jones. Okay. And the late Queen Elizabeth II. Oh, this is dark. <laughs> Why? Because um, you're going to shag Grace Jones, Easter Bunny, or Queen Elizabeth II. Oh, oh, what, <laughs> what a, a conundrum twist. this is. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I think I'd been, I'd been Grace Jones. <gasps> I don't, I don't get why everybody's so, like, they're like, oh, Grace Jones. Um, <laughs> everybody's just, oh, Grace Jones. Um, <laughs> yeah, so everybody's like, oh, Grace Jones. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really get her. Okay. Um... <laughs> I would. You're left with a, a rabbit or a dead and monarch. A dead fisher. woman. Um, Bin, betrothed, bang. Oh, God. I'd bang the Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your eggs. It's chocolate. Um, it's not made of chocolate. But he has access to the chocolate. Yeah, but you're shaggy, baby. You're not getting access to it. See, if you'd have married the, the Easter Bunny. You would get the, the chocolate, but you're not. You're just shagging it. But uh, but I'm so good that he'd, he'd want it constantly. Um, and <laughs> Easter Bunny's gagging for my dick is what you just said, yep. Ellie. And he would just give me all the chocolate. And I would um, marry um, the late Queen Elizabeth because um, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got nice jewels. Well, not I don't know if she's got them on her now i don't think she's been buried with the jewels, um because then they weren't hers no they had the crown so yeah yeah i th yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with that yeah you're happy with that yeah, i'm quite happy with that decision very serious topic this it is okay um i'm just going to get some more people out of here so you now have a choice of your high school gym teacher spongebob squarepants and notorious big um. Oh. Well, it was one very clear bit, and that's my high school gym teacher. Okay. Yeah. Um. See, when I was in high school, I had a um. At one point, I had a very attractive PE teacher, um, who was doing like teacher training. Mm-hmm. It's very handsome. You teacher train your ass. I wanted him to, but I didn't know that I wanted him to. I just thought I really liked him as a human being. And your PP got hard every time you walked past? Yeah, but I, I was a teenager. My PP was hard from morning <laughs> to night. My PP appears to have rigor mortis. Exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> my PE teacher was... Ew, ick. Um, the rumour was it had an operation on his penis and so it was half hard all the time. And um, to be fair, it did look like it was. Um... Anyway, that's, 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 that's a different story. Um, so I'm going to bin him. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to bone... Bang. I'm going to bone SpongeBob. Um, because... Uh, yeah, just ring him out afterwards. No, because I want to hear him go... Ah! Like that. That was actually a good impression. I uh, know. You did a good impression. Uh, thank you. Uh, um, and Five years. Um, Five years has been doing this. <laughs> and again, the notorious B.I.G. is um, dead. So um, I probably wouldn't have to do much. Just, you know. So in this, in this thought process, he would be alive. Would he, though? Yes. Would he be dead inside? After marrying me. Well, probably is if you marry Yeah. Me. Okay, so next three people. Okay. okay. These are very different people. Okay. You have a choice of Mother Teresa. Oh, awkward. Vladimir Putin. Oh. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, hello. Mm. <laughs> hello. Um, quite clearly... I would um, like to be torn in two by... Um, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> by, Mother, by Mother Teresa. 
in a strap on. No, cut that out. Um, I, I would like. <laughs> Stay in. You're get pegged by Mother Teresa. She's not with us anymore, is she? But in this game, she would be alive. But in in, in no, reality, she died, she died just before Princess Di did. Oh, uh, did she? Yeah, but hers was just old age. Rather. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bone the rock. Well, he's gonna bone me. I was going to say um, that's the correct answer. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to bin Putin. Because. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and. Mm, I suppose if I marry Mother Teresa, then it, that's like a pass straight to heaven, isn't it, afterwards? No, because she was married to God. So you're going to have to break up a very happy relationship. Yeah, but. God doesn't exist, and I do, so. Do you exist, though? Do you see, I? I, I would bang Vladimir Putin. Would you? Yeah. Why? Huh? Why? Just because then it would cause all sorts of inner conflict for him. Inner conflict? I don't yeah. think he thinks that deep. Oh, no, I, I think if, if I was balls deep in Vladimir Putin, he would be thinking about it. I don't, I don't yeah. want that image in my mind. Anyway, okay, well, if you want me to do this new thing, I'd better leave, so try. So, while Mike gets his travelling dress on, I had better let you know that coming up we have a new feature, Treasure Trail. And this is where we send Mike off to a location and give him clues to famous landmarks. I won't be on my own, however, in the studio. No, no, no. We have released... Oh, no. We have released her from the kitchen. Yes. It's Fanny Zamoist. So stick around. <laughs> to Chewing the Cud. I don't think I've ever been this close to a fanny since I was born. So my name is Fanny Zuma. Thank you very much. Not the way you said it. But yes, I'm here to help crack the clues and get that feckless wonder around a location within the UK in Treasure Trail. So this week, Mike is in that there London. Are you there, Mike? Hello, studio. Hello, studio. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. So, yes, I am in London. We are ready. I'm set up. I have a tag so you can follow my progress. Okay. I have a camera and I also have the special edition crotch cam. Oh, no. So you can see where I'm going at all times. How amazing is that? Crotch cam. Oh, didn't need to see it twice. Good. Yeah. So, um, let's get going. Um, I'm going to need the first clue. Oh, so the first question is, Downton Abbey's family would feel like they are in the right place here. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Okay. Downton Abbey family place. Hmm, what could that be? I'll take a bag. Greg's. Mm. Greg's. Mm. Yeah, Greg's. Okay, cool, let's go, let's go. Okay, yeah, okay. So, while Mike is roaring around London, we'll see his progress here, on the screen, with a little mic, mic tracking device, which I think is quite lovely. Floating head. Floating head. Yes. Um, it's not completely accurate, so it might go a bit wobbly on occasion. But, you know, it, we'll find him. We'll be able to see where he is. He likes to give head. He does. I've heard that a lot, yes. Um, oh, he's slowed down. He's slowed down. He must be walking. He must be imminently about to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a very nice hotel he's in. He's chewing with his mouth open. How uh, common. I know. Uh -huh. Yes, you can hear us, I know. Mm-hmm. We'll take stairs. Take, ooh, being adventurous, taking the stairs. Do you think he's Annika Rice? He's not wearing a drunk suit, though. He's not, no, 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 no. Oh, we can't see a picture of his bottom. No. Perhaps he didn't do potato-shaped jumpsuits. Possibly, maybe not. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, so yes. So, um, when you leave the hotel, Mike, I need you to, to head out towards something that's got something to do with the, the, the family. What were the family called in Downton Abbey? The Downtons. The Downtons. Were they called the Downtons? Granthams, were they called? Possibly. Mr. and Mrs. Grant, Lady and Lady the, the, Grant. The, the Abbeys. The Abbeys. <laughs> One of them. Patricia Routledge. <laughs> she wasn't in it, I know. But, yeah. Um, yes. Can you, can you hear us? No, smile if you're okay. Not if you're moist, no. Him mincing along there. Mm. Yes. It's, it's, it, I don't think he can't hear us. I think he's not pressing the button. So yes, he can't hear us. Ooh, spinning door. 
I'm adventurous for it. Okay, yes. so which way should I go? Um, go the other way. Oh, Don't okay. go that way. Yeah. Okay. So there it is. Look, oh, this is crotch cam, obviously. Oh. So obviously having a bit of a cam. bit of a readjustment. So there he is. Um, so I wonder where he could be going off to. Grant them something. So I think I found it. Okay, good. <sighs> Grant the place. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, I'm ready for. Grantham Place. Ready for that next clue. Out of breath already, that's not a good sign. Um, well, your so, next clue... Oh, this this statue is two feet tall in the middle of a road. So that's two feet tall in the middle of a road. You're going that way, OK. Oh, we had a bit of a run there. Daylight is not his friend. Well, it's very pale. It's very pale. What was it you said? It's like a, a Almost translucent. Box. Yes, he is. <laughs> right, I'm on it. Oh, he's on it, apparently. Oh, oh well... Oh, so he's off. Uh, he's running. Oh, he's going at a great speed there. Okay, so oh. I'm running. Okay, so we're looking. I'm looking out for something. Two feet right. tall, we're More looking for. Two feet tall. Oh, oh there was um, there. Look, go back, go back. So what? Go back. What? It was there. Two feet tall. Yes, there. okay, cool. Two Wonderful. feet tall. Oh, oh well yeah. done. Right. Mm. What's the next clue? Um, if you were a saint called Paul, you would be mm -hmm. home by now. Stop for a second. Do you have an idea? Did you get that? Saint called Paul. That is this way. That is this way. Good. Okay. okay, Saint Paul's. Yes, you've got it. Yes, well done you. Go on. Okay, so he's, he's off to Saint Paul's now. Apparently. Is he on a? Is he? Is he on a? On a? On a, on a bike? A uh, scoot? I think he's on a little scooter that was going at a rate of knots. He might be on a scooter. Okay, so I've slipped down. Um, the Queen's Head Passage. Oh, well. Um, and I think I might have found some place for people. Oh, okay. Well, it's very difficult to miss. <laughs> it's isn't quite it? large, yes. It looks very St. Paulsy. It looks St. Paulsy. See? Yes, that's St. Paul's. Well done, you. It's like. He can't get too close or he'll burst into flames. Why would that be? You know, being the son of the devil and all that. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. So, looks a little bit out of breath by now. Doesn't even smoke. Does he not? No. Yeah. Um, so, not a lot of cigarettes. Another clue. So the next clue. Okay. So yes, you can see the king getting changed. First, you can see the king getting changed. You know that's nowhere near here, right? Oh, I know that. Go on, off Buckingham Palace. Off you go. Done. Side eye I just got then. Don't know how he's getting to Buckingham Palace. Oh, he's on the tube. That? He's on the tube. Oh, we can see him camera, picture in picture. He was sat in one of those seats that said, please special. give it yeah. up. For for, uh -huh. Please give it up for special. Which I'm sure if, if he had been approached by a special person, he would have got up. So he's outside Buckingham Palace. Oh. Oh, that's handy. I think it's the changing of the guard. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Horses. Horses. They're hung like them, apparently. Oh, he's not that pain. No, there's lots of people um, there. Oh, sorry. Can I get the next clue, please? Well, the next, next clue. clue. Okay. Princes and queens have been there, some against their will. As princes and queens have been there, sometimes against their will. What do you think that could be, Lee? <clears throat> I think it's the Royal Vauxhall Tavern. Royal Vauxhall Tavern? Mm. OK. Did you hear that? You're going to go and get drunk? No, no. I think it might right, be the it. Tower of London. Oh, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's quite close. Yeah. Oh, he's off. He's off. He's back on a tube. There might be a bit of a delay on some of the, 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 the cons. Oh. oh, gosh, he's very nippy, isn't he? Very nippy. Tell them the big tick. Big tick. Big tick, yes. Okay. Well, next thing you're doing. Well, I think that Lee, can you tell me what's going um, well, We want you to get on a boat, please. Get on a boat? Yeah. Uh huh. River's there. Where to? I mean, the river's there, but just get on a boat. Just, just get oh. on a boat. Do as you're told. But are oh. at her. Oh. Okay, so he's going towards the dock. Oh, it's on a boat. Now, okay. Um, small yellow birds at a dockside. 
So that's small yellow birds at a dockside. I don't mean the coffee. A little yellow bird. The canary. Oh. Have you worked out where he's going? Um, he's going to... Um, okay, I have made it. Emu's canary wharf. wharf. Canary wharf. Oh. I'm slightly in breath now. I'm quite happy. Um, okay, do we have the next clue? It's famously round and royals used to like it. Ooh. Famously round, royals used to like it. Where could that be? What do you think? Okay, so I'm getting back on the boat. You're going to get back on the boat, okay. I don't think... Oh, it's a very speedy boat, that one. I don't think we're allowed to say this word out loud. Which one? The word so that he's I'm going to. Why? Famously round. Very, Famously round. It's very Pizza unlucky. Express. Pizza Express? Oh. Uh, oh. It was Globe Theatre. Ah, uh, the Globe uh, Theatre. Oh, yeah. Round and they used to be like barrels. Okay, yes. Well, the Pizza Express also used to be like barrels as well, didn't it? Shakespeare was often it's a glow. Yeah. in Pizza Express. Um, do we have the next one? The next one. Right? He's a very big boy filled with. I think I know where that is. I think we all know where that is. Go on, chop, chop, stop your whinging. Fine. So, do you think you know where he's going off to now? Somewhere filled with vaginas. So I think yeah. I would have that. Very big boy. Oh! Right. Is Big Ben. I hope we got two right. The Houses of Parliament. Um, oh. That's a little too highbrow for me. Really? Mm -hmm. Do we have another clue? Another clue? Um, go to where you are comfortable. Let's go to where you are comfortable, you deaf git. Not a sling. Uh huh. Right, I am back in the room, which is where the last clue you said took me to. So, mm. um, is there any more clues? No, 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 that's not right, There's dear. One more. Okay, go on, what's the clue? Um, you think about being at home. So, not comfortable at home. Oh, no. Where's he going? He is going to that sling. Oh, no, finally we've lost connection with Mike. What are we going to do? Oh, no, we have, have okay. we? That's I'm such a shame. Oh, yeah. Oh. What a oh, coinky hello. ding. <laughs> Teddy Chambers, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I worked out what the last clue was. Did you? It was bringing me here. Because that, that's your prize, you see? You. Me and Fanny together at the same time. That's not a prize. It is a prize. That's a sexual fantasy. <laughs> I think it's a treat for you, Lee. I think you're enjoying it a little bit too much. Oh, well, there's <laughs> stuff about that. Mm. But don't you get comfortable in that chair, you? I think you're fine. If I want to be in this chair, I'll be in this chair. Yeah. Well, that's almost all we have time for today. Don't forget you can find us on At The Could TV on all of your usual social media channels. Oh, thanks for watching, and we will see you all again soon. Bye. 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 Cool. <laughs> yeah, it was off.